Last week in Geneva, Russian Foreign Minister uh, Lavrov and I met to discuss the crisis instigated by Russia's military buildup on Ukraine's borders and steps to de-escalate tensions and pursue diplomacy. Uh, Russia had previously outlined its concerns and proposals in writing, and last week I told Foreign Minister Lavrov that the United States would do the same. Today, Ambassador Sullivan delivered our written response in Moscow. All told, it sets out a serious diplomatic path forward, should Russia choose it. The document we've delivered includes concerns of the United States and our allies and partners about Russia's actions that undermine security, a principled and pragmatic evaluation of the concerns that Russia has raised, and our own proposals for areas where we may be able to find common ground. We make clear that there are core principles that we are committed to uphold and defend, including Ukraine's sovereignty and territorial integrity and the right of states to choose their own security arrangements and alliances. Our response to Russia reflects what I said in Kyiv, Berlin, and Geneva last week. We're open to dialogue. We prefer diplomacy. And we're prepared to move forward where there is the possibility of communication and cooperation if Russia de-escalates its aggression toward Ukraine, stops the inflammatory rhetoric, and approaches discussions about the future of security in Europe in a spirit of reciprocity. Our responses were fully coordinated with Ukraine and our European allies and partners, with whom we've been consulting continuously for weeks. We sought their input and incorporated it into the final version delivered to Moscow. Additionally, NATO developed and will deliver to Moscow its own paper with ideas and concerns about collective security in Europe, and that paper fully reinforces ours and vice versa. There's no daylight among the United States and our allies and partners on these matters. We shared our response paper with Congress, and I'll be briefing congressional leaders on this later today and consulting with them on our approach. As you know, there's strong bipartisan interest and deep expertise on the Hill when it comes to Ukraine and Russia, and we very much appreciate having Congress as a partner as we move forward. We're not releasing the document publicly because we think that diplomacy has the best chance to succeed if we provide space for confidential talks. We hope and expect that Russia will have the same view and will take our proposal seriously. I expect to speak to Foreign Minister Lavrov in the coming days after Moscow has had a chance to read the paper and is ready to discuss next steps. There should be no doubt about our seriousness of purpose when it comes to diplomacy, and we're acting with equal focus and force to bolster Ukraine's defenses and prepare a swift, united response to further Russian aggression. 